But of course, you're not going to get a song without a story. As I said, when I was growing up, we were church people. And uh, in that part of Arkansas, there wasn't a lot of entertainment. See, I grew up before cable television and internet and even before video games. We did have a radio. <laughs> and we had a record player, but not a lot of money to buy new records. So I remember like a lot of uh, just, you know, really old late 50s country albums, which were not a bad thing. I mean, I actually probably got a lot of my musical direction from those, but wasn't a lot in the way of actual tactile entertainment, except for walking in the woods and shooting guns into a creek bank. But occasionally, from time to time, a traveling revival would come into the area, would set up and set up a tent, and people would come from counties around to come and listen to the preaching. And one particular summer, when I was about 12 years old, the Reverend Jack Hiles came up out of, uh, I think he's from Marshall or Longview, Texas, I think. And he came up. And Now, Brother Hiles, as we called him, now he considered himself an expert in the raising of children in the Christian manner. You raise your kid the way Jack Hiles said that he was supposed to be raised, he or she was supposed to be raised, and they would grow up to be a good Christian member of society, a pillar of the society. And he would preach on this subject quite often. He was almost obsessed with it, I would say. And so as an example to the parishioners as to how they should raise their children, he used his own mother as an example, and he said that when he was just a little bitty boy, just, just old enough to, to understand what she was saying and to parrot it back to her, she would pull him up on her knee and then open up a magazine. She'd flip through it till she came to an advertisement, a full color spread, an advertisement for a package of cigarettes. And she'd slap at it and say, cigarettes bad, cigarettes bad. And he would slap it back and say, cigarettes bad, cigarettes bad. Because she was teaching him. He was going to learn these things. And then she would turn the page and there would be an advertisement for a half-naked woman drinking a mug of beer. She would shake her head and say, beer bad, beer bad. And he would slap at it and say, beer bad be or bad because she was teaching him he was going to learn these things you see and then she would turn the page another time and there on the paper would be an advertisement for a bottle of bourbon whiskey shadow would come across her eyes and she would slap at it and say whiskey bad whiskey bad and he would slap at it back and say, whiskey bad, whiskey bad. But that wasn't enough for mama. No, she would reach up and rip the, the advertisement out of the magazine, tear it into 20 or 30 pieces, throw it down on the ground and start jumping up and down on it screaming, whiskey bad, whiskey bad, whiskey bad. Walking in town, humming a song that's been inside my head for so long. The song goes for miles, but more miles to go, Lord, remembering the days that went wrong. Whiskey bad, whiskey bad, all the tune keeps a twisting inside. Whiskey bad, whiskey bad, I was singing in the night that he died. I was drinking in the woods with them boys from town. We were trying to find some girls to help wash our liquor down. The 
smoke in the trees, the smoke in my eyes, Lord, the blisters on the back of my hands. The smoke goes for miles, from all miles to go, till I hear the dying words of that man. Whiskey bag, whiskey bag, all his words keep a twisting inside. Whiskey bad, whiskey bad, I was singing it the night that he died. I was drinking in the woods with them boys from town. We never meant to kill that man or to burn that whole place down. Thank you.